Hey guys and welcome back to the channel for a brand new video. Today is May the 1st, so we are back with a monthly haul update for April. So with that in mind, let's get straight into it and see what I picked up. But before we get started, as always, I will do a quick breakdown on screen of where I got each item from. So in as there, we have just the one, two things from eBay, one of which I only ordered yesterday. So I haven't got it yet. So we'll have to just throw up a screenshot on screen of that particular item because I haven't got it. Um, four from HMV, we have one from Poundland, one subscriber mail and one item from Zavi. I also picked up a few extra things that are not like physical media stuff. So I will show those at the end of the video. It all relates to pop culture. So if you are interested, stay tuned until the end for those. Now enough rambling, let's get into the pickups and see what I got. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys today is my pickup from Asda. It is a Blu-ray as well, and it is a new 2023 release, a new title. And I think it's the first new release that I've got this year. I could be wrong, I could be mistaken, but in terms of a 2023 film, I think this is the first one that I picked up. And I don't normally do it, but I got it from Asda. I used my blue light card for a little bit of saving as well. I think I got about 10% off this. So I think this was about £13. I picked up Megan on Blu-ray with the slip cover as well. Now I mainly got this, yeah, for the slip, but also for the unseen edition because the movie itself was good. I really enjoyed it, but it felt a little bit restricted. Now I think that was because of the marketing, the way that they, they did that in terms of uh, the, the viral moments on TikTok, the scenes that were shown very heavily in the trailers. For me, the marketing attracted the wrong audience, a younger audience. So they had to take a lot out. Now, for me, I hope this Unseen Edition is worth it. I hope it's good. I hope it's a lot more gory. Um, I don't know what to expect from it, but that is Megan on Blu-ray. And before we move on, I will show you guys the back of the slip as well. Don't think many stores got the slips. It was like Morrison's, Asda, the UK supermarkets, and h and Online as well, I believe. So yeah, the first thing to show you guys today was Megan on Blu-ray. Moving on to the eBay pickups, two in total. And like I said at the start of the video today, one of those I only ordered on the last day of April from eBay. So it hasn't come. So I only have the one. So what I'll do is after I go through my first pickup, I will throw up a screenshot on screen of the second one. So the first thing that I got is this movie right here. It is Hellboy on 4K. This is the HMV Cine Edition. It's exclusive. It's limited. Very hard to come across nowadays um, especially for a good price this is practically brand new um, the original seal has been open yes but it has arrived in this like protect the case as well love the artwork on the front i love the movie very much looking forward to checking out the 4k for the first time as well um, to show you guys the back if you're interested in seeing a full unboxing of this and all the contents that it comes with feel free to leave a comment down below and i may just do that in the future so yeah that is the first thing that i got from ebay and it's Hellboy on 4K. The second thing that I got from eBay, guys, is another HMV exclusive, but this time it is the Spider-Man Homecoming 4K Steelbook. Like I said, I have yet to receive it as I only ordered it yesterday, the last day of April. So here is the screenshot of the said Steelbook. Can't wait to receive this. I picked it up for under retail, so very good deal. Very pleased to finally own it in the collection, and hopefully it'll arrive soon. Moving on now to my pickups from HMV, four in total, and the first two that I'm going to show you guys today, I picked up in Liverpool at the start of April. I did do a Blu-ray hunt as well, so if you have yet to see that video, I'll leave a link for that down below. Go check it out. I had a great time making it. Now, this first item here is insane. I got it for £22.99. Before that, I think it was £44.99, and then £90 plus, so I got this for a steal. Um, it is the Stanley Kubrick 4K and blu-ray box set it's very well made it's great quality it's very exclusive um you've got all the films there so you get 2001 a space odyssey in 4k you get the shining in 4k you get barry linden a clockwork orange full metal jacket and eyes wide shot all on blu-ray and then you also get the stanley kubrick a life in pictures documentary as well love the colors of it i love the design it just looks incredible i'll just show you guys the back have a little look at what comes in that it's just great. Like I said, I love those logos as well of all the films. It just looks insane. And for £22.99, I had to pick it up. To go along with that box set, I also picked up X on Blu-ray as it was £4.99 with any purchase. And I had to add this to my collection. It is a must watch for any horror fan out there. It released last year in 2022 and it was incredible. I had an absolute blast with this movie right here. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It is a shame that in the UK we have yet to get any sort of 4K any steelbook for this movie 
Um, so that is a little bit disappointing. Maybe we will in the future with the release of Pearl or Maxine as well um, next year. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, the Blu-ray will have to do. I'm happy either way because it's a great movie and I had to own it in my collection. I also did a Blu-ray hunt last week in Manchester. So if you haven't seen that video either, please go and check that out. A link will be left down below for that one. But I did pick up an item from HMV in the big sale I got. Free Fire on Blu-ray for £3.99. I watched a trailer for this about a week or two ago when I was watching my Train to Busan Blu-ray and I thought it looked really good. Killy Murphy's in it, Brie Larson as well, so I thought for £3.99 I'll pick it up and check it out. Okay, so the fourth and final pickup from HMV was in fact a pre-order. I got this from HMV.com and I used the 20% refer a friend code as well to save 20% off my order. That discount has changed from 20% to 10%, but... 10% off is still better than nothing. So if you are interested in that, then go use that online and save some money. Now, the item that I pre-ordered was All Quiet on the Western Front on 4K. This is a digibook and it is the first 4K digibook that I own in the collection. And I have to say, it is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. A lot bigger than others that I own in the collection already. I own the Drive Blu-ray 1 and this is much bigger. Um, but a great movie. I had to pick it up. I love foreign language movies. Um, if you have yet to see it, go watch it right now on Netflix first before deciding whether you want to pick this up. I think it's still in stock um, as far as I know. It's a great movie. If you haven't checked that out yet, what are you doing? Go give it a watch. It's fantastic. Um, but this release is stunning and I can't wait to watch the 4K transfer of it. And I can't wait to open it up and see what it's like. So yeah. That is All Quiet on the Western Front on 4K. Next up is my pickup from Poundland, just a one. The sticker says £2, but this scanned at a pound. And Lucy got it me before we went to a concert, so nice one for that, Lucy. Um, we watched this together, though, for the first time on Amazon Prime earlier this year, and we had a blast with it. It was so good. A movie starring Justin Timberlake as well as Ben Affleck, and it's called Runner Runner. So for a pound sealed, I had to pick it up. I just really had a good time with this movie. So when I seen it, I had to get it, so yeah. Run and run it on Blu-ray, just show you guys the back. And if you haven't seen this one, this is another recommendation from me. In last month's haul video, I shown this on the channel. I picked up Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on 4K for £6 from CX and it came with the slipcover as well. So very nice. And in that same video, I stated that I yet to pick up the first movie because I could not find the 4K with a slip anywhere. And a few days after the video was live on my channel, I received a message over on Facebook from the man himself, the legend Big Paulie who had seen my video and wanted to send me the first movie, which I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that he watches my videos. Really surreal moment because I've been watching Big Pauly for three plus years. So it was awesome to know that he is watching my videos and like supporting my channel. And then the second surreal thing was that he offered to send me like my first subscriber mail, which is so kind. Um, I've already thanked him, but I want to thank him again. So Big Pauly, Paul, thank you so much for sending me this i really really appreciate it it's such a kind gesture and i'm so happy to finally own this movie so yeah he sent me very kindly sonic the hedgehog the movie on 4k with the slip cover and yeah they look great together the spines match very very well and i'm so pleased um, to have that in the collection so yeah that is my first subscriber mail if you want to see that video i will also leave a link for that down below so go check it out Moving on now to my final physical media pickup from April. This comes from Zavi. I got this for £40 with the delivery included. I used a discount code, so very lucky with that. And I'm very lucky that I secured this. This item sold out twice, I believe. Very, very in demand last month. But I got it. Very happy. I picked up the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from Second Sight. Another fantastic release from them. It's great quality. It's very, very heavy. Love the artwork of Leatherface on the front. Now, guys, this is going to be a first time watch. I've never seen it. Cannot wait to watch this. Shout out to Jordan over at Movie Worm. I do believe this is his favourite horror film, so I cannot wait to check this one out. I've seen the newest movie from Netflix. It was good, it was decent, uh, but I believe this is fantastic, so I cannot wait to give this one a watch. This set includes a bunch of like extras and stuff like that. If you can see it, guys, give it a pause, have a read. Do apologise for the glare. Um, but yeah, it comes with all sorts. I will post some pictures over on my Instagram. So again, guys, if you want to go check my page out at the movie inside that link down below for that. But yeah, this is a great release from Second Sight. One of my favourite labels at the minute. And this is a great set. I'm so glad that I picked it up. Before we go, I just want to show you guys a few other little bits and bobs that I picked up in April. I did get this thing from Zavi. I picked up the Stark Industries exclusive crate. 
Uh, basically, it's something that you can store Iron Man 1, 2 and 3 in, whether that's your steelbook or armory. Um, the lid kind of pops off like that. It's wood and it's got like a magnetic lid as well. And that's what it looks like inside. So yeah, as you can see, you can store your films in there. I'm just going to store a few bits and bobs um, inside this. Now, it retails for, I think, £100. I got this on sale for £18. And it also included some art cards and a poster as well. So I will show you guys them next. I'll just pop the lid back on. Pop that on the side. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. But basically, yeah, you get three art cards. And you get a poster. I'll put a screenshot up of it now. So you can take a little look and see if you want to pick it up for yourself. So yeah, that is just something that I got from Zavi. £18 for that, for the crate, three art cards and a poster. And like I said, it's mainly to store the Iron Man movies, but I'm going to use it for just little bits and bobs in the movie room. So yeah, we'll have to get that on display. It's probably going to fit right on the top of my shelving, but it's going to look pretty cool. I also picked up quite a few Funko Pops as well, including two from my dad, so we'll show those in the video. The first thing that I want to show you guys, though, is this right here, Pennywise from It Chapter 2. This cost me £10 from Smith's. This goes for like £30 plus online. I could not leave it in Smith's for that price. The detail's insane. It looks great. It's freaky. Had to own it for £10. What a pickup. Very, very happy with that one. It even includes a little boat as well. It's pretty cool. The next three Funko Pops as well all come from Smith's. I got this one for £7 and it is Shazam from Shazam Fury of the Gods. Now hopefully in a few weeks time in Manchester I will hopefully be meeting Zachary Levi so I'm looking to get this one signed so for £7 I was very happy to find that one and then these next two again were £7 but my dad got them for me so yeah we have Namor from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Love that like water stand as well really cool feature there and a lot of detail as well and then I also got King Namor as well. This is a lot heavier but again really good detail and it kind of like reminds me of the steelbook as well so it's pretty cool and yeah so i've got three more to get through guys and then that is us for today so stay tuned for the next three the next three and final three that i'm going to show in this video all come from facebook from one seller who did a really good deal on these and i'm very happy to have all three in the collection so first up we have spider-man this is tom holland's peter parker this is his version unmasked from no way home love the suit again great detail and I'm very happy to have this in the collection. This is a, an exclusive as well to Funko. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the next two are from Stranger Things. And the first two in my collection. So, yeah, very pleased with those. We have another special one here. This is a special edition to Funko. And it is Eddie. Um, great character from the latest season. Had to pick this one up. Love that Hellfire T detail as well. Awesome. Um, and that was quite in demand at some point. It was selling out all the time and I got this for a really good deal. And then the third and final thing is an older release. It's older. It's probably more valuable. It's definitely more rare. Um, and it is Max. Uh, this is number 551. This comes in a hard stack. Yeah, so hopefully um, I'm going to meet Sadie Sink one day at a convention. I would love to meet her, get this signed. That's kind of the reason I bought this one. There are a few, um, there are a few different Funkos already released of this character but i opted for this one um i thought this was pretty cool i've got the skateboard there i think this was from like a first appearance from the show so yeah as always guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've all had a good time if you've liked it please do consider hitting the like button hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already and all links for other videos that i mentioned today as well as my instagram will be linked down below so go check those out but for now thanks for watching i do appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next one Thank you.